Hi guys, Jay here, and I'm here with the president of the TRC, Robbie. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. What's up, KVT? Yeah. So, can you please tell us what the weekend coming up? Yeah, um, Rally Trinidad is the biggest rally we do for the year. Um, one of uh, eight events for the year that we do for the season. And Rally Trinidad is one of the biggest motorsport events that we have in the island. Um, cars, all different makes, models, classes, um, probably five different classes running this weekend um, from, I think, if I'm not mistaken, five different countries. Um, so, a real nice mix of machine good mix of talented drivers three days of racing um, so we're looking forward to it all right and for the drivers them um, what preparations have you seen with them we have seen drivers move since we changed the ruling a couple of years ago where you had to finish all the stages to be considered a finisher um, drivers are no longer you know the first priority is not always speed um, although right now is big on reliability so you're seeing guys building their cars building their um, from engine to suspension not necessarily looking for power but looking for reliability probably running the card 85 percent all weekend um, you know just hoping to finish and then maybe save that 100 um, percent settings for like two or three stages just when they need to you know catch back those few seconds so I think um, without accidents you're probably going to see um, a lot more reliability of cars um, with every rally all right and do you have any favorites so for the rally this year um, one big change no WRC cars this year and I think that has opened up the field a little bit usually you would see John Powell or Jeffrey Panton or the SX4 from Barbados who won last year three WRC car come in and you could almost pick the winner um, from the morning and uh, that's not the case this year we've got 14 four-wheel drive cars of which maybe six or seven of them in the group A and group N categories could win um, that's James Betts Jeffrey pa uh, sorry James Betts John Powell um, Craig Sumir David Quelo Short Johnson um, Christian Bourne who won the first event so you know you got six or seven drivers there who could really toss it up um, I think the two wheel drives from Ireland are gonna surprise a few people how far up the pecking order they go I have the dubious honor of sitting down with Frank Kelly I sat with him in Bar Rally Barbados last year I'm sitting with him again um, first time I'm actually competing in Rally Trinidad in many years um, so I think Frank has it in him to win two wheel drive but two more Irish cars um, and I think you know you could see some tossing up at the top of two-wheel drive as well. Oh, so this year you're racing? Yeah, it's the first time since 2010 I'm behind the wheel of a car, sorry, in, in a competitive car. So um, I'm co-driving for Frank, uh, so it should be interesting between my training accent and his Irish accent and it'll be some fun in the car. Okay, so um, in terms of preparation, what preparations have you done to get back be behind the wheel? Um, getting back in a car competitively, um, you just got to make sure obviously the pace notes are done. Um, thankfully Frank came here last year, so he's familiar with some of the stages. Just getting the notes down correct. Um, the Irish system of note calling is entirely different to what I'm accustomed to in Trinidad. So it does take a little bit of, um, you know, crossover if you will. Yeah. But sitting now with him in Barbados, we have a good, um, a good kind of chemistry already. So just getting notes done, make sure the pit crew knows where they need to be and they will handle the car and yeah just sit down shut up and drive <laughs> <laughs> so you're expecting to do well this year then? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we would be definitely one of the favorites. Um, but as I said, there are a couple other two-wheel drive cars there. This uh, Mark 1 Escort the from Barbados is pretty quick as well. Okay. Um, the two other Irish cars that are here um, toss it up with Frank and Ireland. So, you know, I mean, and it's a gravel rally, man. Anything can happen. For real, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you, sir. Thanks, Jay. Hi. Right. Thank you. KVTV. KVTV, we are here, Rally Trinidad 2015, Scrutineering Edition. I'm with Shiva Maraj. Hi. Hi. Okay, so I saw this car and it was so pretty. Tell me a little bit about this car, please. Okay, the car is owned by Haro Molly, driven by Haro Molly out of the UK. Mm -hmm. It's a Group N SCI 2014 WRX. I'm Shiva Maraj, I'm a school driver locally here in Trinidad. Last year we competed in another Subaru, we finished second overall in the championship and second overall in Group N. So this year it's a new car, he's just looking to get some seat time, have some fun, have a clean run and reach to the finish safely on Sunday. 
So how was the scrutiny today? Well, it's a new car, so we had no problems. The scrutiny has checked everything and there were no issues, so we got through pretty smoothly. Okay. And what are your expectations for race for racing today? Well, Come on. from Friday, is it? Yeah. Well, we haven't driven the car yet competitively, so we are looking to get some seat time on Saturday stages. Try to complete Saturday. Normally, Rally Trinidad, those who complete on Saturday will finish on Sunday. So right. it's all about surviving on, Friday, on Saturday at the Bronte and the Reform. And then from there, we can assess it and see if we want to push on Sunday for a higher place on the podium. So it's such a pretty car for Rally. I mean, tell me about that. Well, it's a new model car. It's one of the newest models Rally car built to come to the Caribbean. Right. How it will hold up to the track? Well, it's built by GRM Motors. They have a reputation behind them for building rally cars, mm -hmm. so we don't anticipate any issues mechanically. Right. So we're just looking to... It just may get a little dusty. A lot dusty. <laughs> all right, all right. Good. Okay. And as the navigator, what is your role with the, within this, this race? Okay, well, my role mainly is to tell... We have the notes, the pace notes that we'd have taken over yesterday and the day before. So Harley depends on that to drive the course at a high speed. So that's mainly my role and to configure and put all the logistics in place for the rally over the weekend. Okay. Uh, how you find the track looking? Very smooth, very technical, some fast areas. Looking forward to the Bronte stage. So you can just tell KVTV family out there, come on down, yeah? Coming along to Rally Trinidad 2015. Okay, thank you. And here's the driver of the car. Ah, so we are here with the driver. Hi. Hello, pleased to meet you. My name is Nysus and you are? I'm Doc Morley from Barbados. Okay, so this is your car. How long have you been driving? Well, how long have I had this car? I've had this car for one day. But, <laughs> yeah, I realize, but how long have you been driving personally? I've been driving since I was at university. It's a long, long time. Yeah. Yeah, and I've been competing. I think I've done like 400 plus rallies okay. in total. So, is this, is this your first time in Trinidad? No, this is my 12th time in Trinidad. I, I, last year I did the whole championship okay. and I've done rally Trinidad 12 times. Okay. So what? What, what do you think of Trinidad and the rally, the whole rally um, sport? The sport's getting big. People have got a lot of interest in it. And it's really good the way that the Trinidad's have taken to it and tried to make it bigger and better every year. Mm -hmm. So this year we've got Massey Motors interested and they're actually sponsoring my car. Mm -hmm. It's been in their showroom and they've got a lot of interest from it. And commercially, running is really good. Mm -hmm. People need something to think about and look forward to and enjoy. And this is a fabulous sport to go and watch. Mm -hmm. And what are your expectations for the race? Well, we've got a pretty clean brand new car yeah. <laughs> and my expectations are to bring it to the finish right. pretty clean <laughs> and three days used right. you may not get the clean but i think you may get everything else right well we got a washing crew you know yeah. we got a bucket and sponge and we make sure it keeps clean but the answer is to stay on the road because there's nothing worse than finishing the rally by going off the road and crashing yeah and there's nothing better than getting to the finish line and having a really good three days right. so I just want to enjoy it. I've enjoyed it always before and almost every time we finished. And we finished usually in the top few. Last year I came second overall in the whole Trinidad Rally Championship. So that was an amazing achievement, largely due to my co-driver who made it work really, really good. Fine. You talk about safety. What are the main things that you uh, abide by to keep safe on the track? Well, the car is very strong and built very safely, so we have really good crash helmets, very good seat belts, very good roll cages inside the car, and we know the roads, we know the corners, we try to drive as fast as possible without going off and without crashing, but it's very important to finish an event. Safety is not one of the things that Rally has a problem with, really. There's not a lot of accidents that hurt people. And the spectators are usually very sensible, they keep back from the track, although they're a lot closer to the cars than on a racetrack. So it's much more fun for the spectators to watch rally than it is to watch racing. Can you give us some specs about what is under the hood, some details on the engine um, and so forth? Sure, well this car was built by JR Motorsport in England. They have an arrangement with the factory, the Subaru factory, and they build professional rally cars for the whole world. So this is the first one they built in this new model car, which is why Massimotors are so interested, because it 
it's a new fresh, fresh face for Trinidad right. and it's created a lot of interest for them. Mm. So under the engine is uh, a lot of tuning, a special gearbox, special differentials, mm. um, a, a different turbocharger with different size restrictor on it, a lot of fancy tackle right. which just makes the car handle and go better. Right. Um, a lot of it is down to something called an anti-lag system, which is all the popping and banging you hear when these rally cars go past. Right, yeah. So these are turbocharged cars, and a turbocharger, when you push the foot on the gas, takes a second or two to build up. What these cars have built in is an automatic system that keeps them spinning all the time. So the minute you touch the accelerator, the car goes. It makes it much more aggressive and a lot better to handle and play with and so the drivers moving the car and playing with it all the time and trying to get the maximum performance on every single corner. Right. Very good. So what do you want to tell it our KV T V family? Tell them tell them to come on down, yeah? They should come. They should make the effort. They should come to the stages. They should come to the stadium on Friday night, yes. six, seven, eight o'clock. They'll have an amazing time. They won't believe how quick the cars are, and four, five thousand people will be there with a fantastic view, really enjoying themselves. And then Saturday and Sunday, they can come watch the cars on the dirt, on the gravel. They can get on a really good corner where there'll be perhaps another 50 or 100 people. Mm -hmm. Everyone tells you what's going on. Everyone's liming and drinking and having fun. And it's just a really exciting day. I mean, this, you never know what a car's going to do. There's, every car's different. The cars run at one minute intervals and they can slide off, they can spin, they can go safely, they can kick up dirt. It just changes. So come out, bring the whole family, kids will love it. And you just say, wow, I'm going to watch rally every time. Yeah. I have never taken anybody to watch rally who's not enjoyed it. Oh, okay. I've forced a lot of people to come. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I say, what do you think? And they say, wow, I should have been doing it for the last 10 years, you yeah. know? <laughs> so I would encourage all the viewers, come and watch rally. You will be surprised.